Okay. So I'm going to do a little poem for you first. Because um, I write loads of poetry as well. I've been writing poetry for years. Um, and I'm the only person that has, like, poems on the pelvic floor. <laughs> My pelvic floor, something you cannot see, can either reward or debilitate me. I can choose to ignore it and not value its role. And then under the knife, I may just have to go. Extra protection I need when I laugh. And the feeling of intimacy, a memory that's passed. Or I can choose to acknowledge, condition and enjoy, gripping and lifting and jumping for joy. A little attention, a few moments a day, and I can confidently, continently be on my way. Wow. Okay, so pelvic floor secrets is basically tailored sensory programming to reverse the damage of weak pelvic floor muscles. That is basically what I do. Um, so we offer women and men, I work with men as well, and men sometimes say, do we have a pelvic floor? Yes, you do. We offer you the potential to reverse the damage of incontinence, prolapsed pelvic organs, and lack of sexual feeling. So we're building a better future from the inside out. Um, I'm very passionate about pelvic floor health and happiness. I sign off all my emails in pelvic floor health and happiness. So I'm very passionate about that subject. Hot bodies and great sex. All three. Passionate about all of them. We should have all of them. Yeah? Um, and I'm, but you need to be passionate about it as well. And I mean really passionate. So as long as you've got the discipline and the patience to learn it, I have the patience to teach it. So for instance, I'm going to give you an example. Hysterectomy is, is, is big business in the medical profession, and ethnic minorities, black women, we pay a high price of our wounds. We, get, we have fibroids, we have heavy bleeding, we can't take it no more. You go to the hospital, when a surgeon does a hysterectomy, he gets paid about five grand, so you're paying into his BMW fund, so he's quite happy to whip it out for you. You're suffering, so you say, yeah, take it away. But your uterus is for life, not just for babies. It plays an everyday role in, su in supporting your bladder, the upper part of the vagina, and it acts as a buffer to stop the bowel from prolapsing onto the bladder. So that's its everyday role. Plus, it also regulates the hormones in your body. So you can get rid of one condition and create another. You can create early onset menopause, or you could create prolapse. And it's actually, you can you de destabilize the pelvis and the spine by having a hysterectomy. So if you have a hysterectomy, you need a whole program on strengthening the pelvic floor, stabilizing the pelvis, stabilizing the spine, creating and knowing how to use your lower abdominals. So there's a whole nother issue around hysterectomies that actually isn't explored and actually isn't explained. So if you don't learn anything about your body, you might get rid of one condition, but you might create something else. That's something that I'm very passionate about, making sure that we understand that we keep our wombs for life until God calls us home. It was put in there for a reason, so let it stay there all the time. Um, so pelvic floor health and happiness should not be something that eludes you, debilitates you or isolates you. Rather, it should be something that actually rewards, and it should actually reward you. So I always say there's six rewards for the pelvic floor. So it plays a major role in flattening the lower abdominals. Everyone's running to the gym to get flatter abs. Pelvic floor. Better shaped butt. Whack. Yeah? Pelvic floor. Better shaped thighs. Improved posture. Dry as always. Great sex. Which one don't you want? And which one would you not want? Yeah? So, as I was saying before, investing, pelvic floor secrets came about because a lady came to a class and she'd been suffering with a, a, pro, a prolapsed uterus, had been seeing a physiotherapist for eight months, came to my class, I mentioned my first book. She wrote, sent me an email. I included some exercises for her. Within six weeks, she was signed off. She'd been seeing the physio for eight months with no change. But six weeks in class, not even one-on-one, -on -one, and she was signed off. So I offer you six weeks to confidence, continence, and the ultimate reward, sexual satisfaction. That should be that kind of, you're good, he doesn't know what you've done, but you did all the work, yeah? <laughs> so that was, I'm not going backwards, you missed it. <laughs> okay, so, people think that the pelvic floor, like I said, people just think it's after babies, but whether you have a C-section, and a lot of women that have C-sections don't think they have to worry about it, but once you've got that baby inside you, your pelvic floor is loaded. People are doing high-intensity exercises, everyone's running, jumping, skipping, laughing, constant pounding, constant loading, you're loading your pelvic floor. 
Now, it doesn't matter whether you're a diet of, of beer, fast food, and cigarettes. Whatever you choose to eat, this is your diet. And all a diet means, another one of my light bulb moments I was proud of, all a diet means is difference in eating this. That's all it spills, yeah? So whether you're eating towards optimal health or difference in eating that, whether you're eating towards ill health, all a diet is whether you're eating towards optimizing the health of your body or minimizing the health of your body. That's all you're doing. When we go for the menopause and our hormones change, three things happen inside the woman's vagina. The, the lining becomes thinner, it becomes dry, and it shrinks. It can cause you major problems. So it's really important to understand that there are foods out there that you can have. And I do actually have, I've printed it off myself, but I do actually have a free ebook that you can download on foods to improve pelvic floor health. So feel free to go on the website and get that down as an ebook. That was just like, it took me five minutes to make that salad, but I'm telling you it's a tasty salad there. So, Pelvic Floor Secrets is a book here. It's a way of life. I have my first book here as well. I'm doing an offer on both of them today. I spent £25,000 on this book. I published it myself. It cost me my relationship, but you know what? If it changes one person's life, I don't care. And I have made some differences to women's lives, and I've been approached all over the world. I wrote it because there is nothing out there like it. I developed the program because there's nothing out there like it. And I did not realize that we as women were suffering. It was one comment a friend made to me years ago, a throwaway comment with regards to vaginal laxity after childbirth that got me interested. But I did not know we were suffering so much as women. And I want to create a movement towards empowerment everywhere for women. So we can have the hot body, we can have the great sex, but we need to make sure that our pelvic floor is never something that we have to be worried about or isolates us or costs us anything more than the health and happiness it was supposed to give us in the first place.